Hey, what's going on, internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. So, doing something a little bit different today, we have a request for an InDesign tutorial, and I believe the request is for more of a two-page spread, and that's exactly what we will be creating here today. So, if you're new to InDesign, I have a tutorial that is a little bit more basic, that goes more in-depth on InDesign, and you can go ahead and click that link in the description if you want to watch a more basic tutorial. But anyway, here we are, and Let's start from scratch, and this is what we'll be creating. So, I'll start from scratch. I'll go up to File, New Document. And we prompted with a New Document tab here. And we want to go to Number of Pages and maybe say, let's just say three. And make sure Facing Pages are clicked. And um, I guess our intent will be for print. Um, it doesn't really matter. Just make sure you set to whatever you're going to be doing. So, if you're going to be doing web or digital publishing, make sure those are clicked. But we'll just keep it on print. And... Let's go ahead and click OK. And as you can see, we have our two page spread right here. And to start this thing off, I'll go to the uh, rectangle frame tool here. And I will just go to our guides here and kind of just like make sure to snap the, that in place and go ahead and just drag out a box completely on our guides here. And we have a perfect rectangle. And let's go to our folders here and I will pull up our photo. And this is what I will import and I will drag that right into InDesign. And that will take the size of our frame here. And obviously this is uh, not you know full size or whatever. So what I'll do is go to the selection tool at the top here. And I'll double click our image. And let me zoom out here. Let me double click our image. And you can see that we have a orange box here. And that basically is the size of the entire picture. So what I can do is I'll hold down Alt and Shift on my keyboard. And we'll drag this down proportionally just like this and it's probably right there and as you see we have the our entire picture and of course InDesign um, doesn't allow f like for full quality photo so if you want to have a if you want to see the full quality photo so what you can do is click on view go to display performance and click high quality display and that will give us our full quality image of course that's just for keeping things fast in InDesign but that's up to you this, this is a small project so it's not a big deal to have the uh, full quality so that's looking pretty cool. Let's go ahead and maybe design some more elements and I'll tell you how we can edit this photo a little bit later. Um, and let's go ahead and maybe start with a, go to like the rectangle tool, which is right over here. And what we'll do is just like draw out a box like this. Okay, and then we go up to the fill at the top here and maybe set it to paper, which is just a white color. <laughs> white is not a color, sorry about that guys. And basically here we are and let's go ahead and maybe go to the text title tool. Sorry, the type tools, so many different names to call it in all these Adobe programs. But anyway, uh, we will just drag out a box like this. And what I'll do is go to, like, I'll pull up my copy, which is right over here. And I'll just copy this. And I will come in here and paste it. And obviously this isn't cool, but we'll go ahead and start fixing this up now. So what I'll do is I'll set this to, like, one of my favorite fonts, which is Times. And I know it's such a basic font, but... Um, personally, I like it, and maybe I'll make it just uh, times italic. And I have a video on what are the best uh, fonts for graphic design, or what are my favorite fonts are for graphic design. And if you want to watch that video, you can click the link in the description or on the screen now if I remember to put it in. But anyway, so it's times italic, and what we can do is maybe uh, at the end of our copy here, I'll hit space and add a, uh, well, actually go to the front here. And I'll add the quotes and add a space there and then go to the end here and add a quotes there. So that's looking pretty cool. And maybe I'll set the font to maybe 13. And what I'll do is go to Sunduck Film up here and maybe I'll set this to an italic bold and make it 15. So that's looking pretty cool. And uh, let's go ahead and start adjusting this. So what we'll do is go ahead and center this in the middle by going to the line center at the top. Okay. And... Let's go ahead and close up this frame a little bit. So I'll go to the selection tool and let me just close this up here. And what we can do is shift click our rectangle background here and go to the align tools, which are right up here. And we'll click both of the center lines and that's completely centered for us. And then let's go ahead and go to the line tool, which is over in the tool panel here. And let's kind of just drag out a line just like that. Maybe a little bit longer. And maybe from frame to frame here. That that'll be that's pretty simple. And then what I'll do is go to our stroke up here, and I'll set it to black. And then um, that should be good. And then let's go ahead and copy this by going up to Edit, Copy, and go up to Edit, Paste in Place. 
And then we'll click and hold down shift and bring this down. And that looks pretty good. And to maybe add some more detail to this, maybe what we'll do is select the background here and we'll set this the opacity to uh, like 85%, if I remember correctly, that's how I had my last settings. And boom, that looks pretty interesting. All right, and if we wanna hide like these guys or whatever, what we do is go up to view, uh, extras, hide frame edges, and that will hide our frame edges, which is pretty nice. And then we can also go up to view, guides and hide guides and I'll hide those purple boxes for you guys. Okay, so now let's go ahead and maybe edit this image a little bit and I'll show you guys how we can do that in InDesign. Well, won't be in InDesign, but anyway, we'll go ahead and right click our image here and we, what we'll do is go to edit with and we can click with Adobe Photoshop, but let's say you don't have a Photoshop installed, you can just click on edit original and it'll bring up you know a preview for Mac or whatever the software will be on PC. But anyway, here we are in preview, and I'm just going to do this in preview because all I'm going to do is adjust the contrast. So I can basically, I think, go to tools, um, adjust color, and I can just quickly just adjust the contrast. Ooh, not too much. That should be okay. And then when it's all said and done, all I do is save this image, and then it'll automatically update in InDesign, as you can see, as it did right there. And that looking pretty good. So I want to add a footer, but... Uh, there's not enough room for a footer. It will make this design look pretty ugly, if, especially if we're doing print because of, you know, cutting of the edges and stuff like that. So what we do is click our frame here and let me zoom out here. And if I hold down Alt on our keyboard and I click this point and drag, it will allow us to just uh, scale the top and bottom down to cut off that a little bit. And maybe I'll even do a little bit more. So now we have a little bit of room to work with and actually I'll pr I'm gonna continue to do that. Okay, I'm okay with that. And maybe what I'll do is I'll go here and I'll lock our background layer here and I'll just select this and I'll bring this down just by a little bit. Okay, and now we go to our type tool and we draw out a box and we come here and type in our footer and say page 15 just for whatever reason. And I'll change the font to one of my favorite fonts, Lotto. And once again, you can uh, go check out that video for the best fonts for graphic design, or at least in my opinion, of course. And of course, there's a free download for that as well, if you guys are interested in downloading fonts. And I'll go ahead and just move this over here, maybe zoom in here and kind of close up the frame exactly, and then boom. Okay, and then I'll, what I'll do is go up to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, and we'll hold down shift and we'll drag this all the way to the other side of our document. Boom, and I'll go to back to the type tool by hitting T on my keyboard and I'll just delete this and come over here and type in 14 and do that straight line bracket thingy. <laughs> and then it's looking pretty good. And then what I could do now is maybe go back to my finder here and I'll drag in my logo, which is an illustrator file and that will come here. And now what I have to do is just basically drag how big I want this to be. So I'll just come here and be like, okay, I want my logo to be that big. Okay. And I'll go ahead and just put this over here. And I want to go ahead and create like a, uh, an ellipse circle around this. Ellipse circle, that didn't, didn't make much sense. I want to create a stroke circle around my logo. So I'll go to the ellipse tool and I will set this to paper. And let me go here and I'm like, I'll click Alt, I'll hold down Shift and Alt on my keyboard and click a circle just like this. And I'll drag this out. Okay, and I'll go to the stroke, set that to paper, which for some reason I did that ahead of time. Sorry guys. And let me set the stroke to probably about three points. And let me go here. Let's move our circle in the middle of our duck. All right, and let me go ahead and maybe center that right over here. And let's set the opacity for both, both these layers to 85%. And that's looking pretty good. And if you want to view this real fast, we export this, we go to File, um, Adobe PDF Presets. And this is a way that I like to do it. It's just high quality print. And uh, we'll just call this uh, two page tut spread. And everything's pretty good. And we'll click Export. Okay. And it'll open. And let me click off of that. And if we go here, we only see one page. So what I'll do is go up to view, two pages, and 
there we have it we have our two page spread right here in InDesign or sorry in our preview window so that's how you do that in InDesign if you guys have any questions or requests for tutorials please drop a comment down below and uh, I'll be more than happy to get back to you guys and if you, this video has helped you please drop a like it helps me out tremendously and if you haven't already please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this and guys thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you soon.